Hello to my queens and my kings. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy being me. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy being me. I am so special. So real quick, I just wanted to talk to you about fitting in. Um, being accepted you know sometimes I'm sure you wonder or sometimes some of us wonder you know why don't they like us you come home from a long day at work or a long day at school college high school middle school and there are people who just don't like you so there's a few things that I want you to think about when someone does not like you the first thing that you want to think about so number one First thing you want to think about is, did you do something to cause somebody to dislike you? So were you mean? Were you rude? Were you nasty? Did you make fun of someone? Did someone need help and you refuse to help them? If you do any of what I just mentioned, people might not like you. Now outside of that, sometimes there are people who don't like you because they're having a tough time liking themselves. So if you are a nice person, if you are outgoing, if you're a good friend, if you're intelligent, there may be some people in this world that dislike you. So when that happens, when that happens, when you do step one and you reflect and you analyze and you ask yourself, hey, did I do something to make them dislike me? And you say, was I rude? No. Was I nasty? No. Did they need help and I told them no? No. So my whole list that I just gave you, if you're able to say no to everything, then keep in mind that something that's great about you may, may make them feel a little bit threatened. So if you're going to school and you look a little bit different than the other children and people are picking on you or making fun of you, sometimes they're not happy within themselves. So if somebody is just bullying you for no reason at all, take a moment and look at them. Look at their lives. See if they're as happy as you are or are they as happy as they want to be. Also, as, as you get older, fitting in is less important. I would say when I was really, really young, when I was in middle school, elementary school, high school, that was like the best thing. You have to be in the cool club. You have to fit in with everybody. You have to make sure everybody likes you. And as you get older, you realize that in this world, there may be some people who just don't like you. There may be people who don't like themselves. You know, you watch TV and you look at the celebrities and you think that they're so beautiful and they have all this money and they have this beautiful life and they have this beautiful home and this beautiful car. And guess what? They have critics too. So in life, there are going to be critics. What's so important to know is you have to be true to yourself. And if you're true to yourself, you will get in where you fit in. And when you find that you're, you're trying to fit in with a certain crowd, a certain group of people, ask yourself deep down inside, these people that I want to fit in with, these people who I want to like me so bad, are they really good for me? Are they going in the same path, in the same direction that I'm going? A lot of times when you're in high school, it's the people who are getting in trouble and the people who aren't focusing on their education that are considered the cool kids. The cool kids? Yeah, when I was in school, there was cool kids too. And most of those cool kids ended up in jail. Many of them are no longer here because they lost their lives. Um, so a lot of times them cool kids, you know, the ones that are in trouble, the ones that are hanging out late, the ones who are disrespecting those, their parents, the ones who aren't really focusing on their schoolwork, Nine out of 10 times, if they don't change their way, that's typically how they are when they're adults. So, you know, that doesn't mean that if you had a bad past or you made mistakes, that doesn't mean you, can, you can't change. I'm just simply saying, don't envy people who like to get in trouble. Don't envy people who pick on other people. 
continue to be yourself. If you like a different type of music, if you like a different style of clothing, dare to be different, dare to be you. And understand there are other people like you. There are other people who understand you. There are other people who are going to make you feel good, who are going to encourage you. Because if someone is picking on you, if someone is telling your secrets, if someone is one day they're your friend, the next day they're not your friend, and one day they're your friend, the next day they're not your friend, you know, they're really not your friends. So you want to find a circle of people who are going to encourage you, who are going to support you. You want friends that are going to make you feel comfortable being yourself. If you're around somebody and you don't feel comfortable being yourself, they might not be the right people for you. But trust and believe there are people out there for you. And the only way to find those special friends is to be true to yourself. To be true to yourself, to be exactly who you are, and know that as you're being exactly who you are, you're going to encourage other people to be exactly who they are because you're not the only person that wants to fit in. You're not the only person that's having trouble with school. You're not the only person that has been picked on. I've been picked on before. And you just keep on going. You just keep on moving. You just keep on pushing. But I really want you to re remember that if you didn't do anything wrong to them and they're bullying you and they're picking on you and they're making fun of you, really look at them. Because when people are talking behind your back, this says a lot more about them than it does about you. When people are talking behind your back and smiling in your face and acting like they didn't just say that, that says more about them than it does about you. So be courageous. Be courageous and know that it takes a leader, a true leader to not follow the crowd. It takes a leader a true leader to dare to be different and to be who you truly are. There is power in that. There is freedom in that. So I just want to remind you, don't water yourself down and make somebody else feel comfortable. Don't dim your light to make somebody else feel comfortable. If you're bright and you're beautiful and you're energetic and you're enthusiastic, you be just that. And understand, in this world, sometimes there's people who don't like you. But also remember, most of the people who dislike you for no reason have trouble liking themselves. So try your best not to take it personal. Learn from it. Sometimes when people are rude or nasty or dislike you, sometimes they have a few points as far as something you did or something you said or, you know, be open to, you know, constructive feedback. But if you know in your heart and in your mind you didn't do anything, if you know in your heart and in your mind you're a good person, then you keep on being a good person. Dare to be you, dare to be different, love you, be you, and join the Happy Being Me movement by going to my website, www.someonecaresaboutme.com. Remember, that what makes you different is also that what makes you special. Make it a great day. Leave a comment below if you uh, appreciated my video, if you have any ideas. Check in with me. Let me know how your day is going in school, and I will check in with you again later. Look for my next video due to drop in a week. See ya, see ya.